Welcome to the wonderful world of triangles. A triangle is a polygon with three straight sides and three straight angles. Let's see what they look like. Like me, I'm a triangle. Let's go check out some more triangles. Triangles can be classified by the size of its angles. A right triangle is a triangle that has a right angle. That means one of its angles is 90 degrees. This symbol here, this little square, it means 90 degrees. So let's just put this on the triangle to make sure everyone knows that this angle is 90 degrees. An acute triangle is a triangle that has all acute angles. Don't forget, acute angles are less than 90 degrees. Aww, they are acute triangles. <laughs> Get it? An obtuse triangle is a triangle with an obtuse angle. Obtuse angles measure more than 90 degrees. Let's classify each of these triangles based on the measure of its angles. Okay, in the first triangle, I see a right angle. Remember, that little square means 90 degrees, so this must be a right triangle. The second triangle, all of its angles look to be pretty small, definitely smaller than 90 degrees, so this must be a cute triangle, because it's just so cute. And this third triangle, whoa, that's a big angle over there. Definitely more than 90 degrees. So that one must be obtuse. Triangles can also be classified by the length of their sides. An equilateral triangle is a triangle with three equal sides. So let's say we take line segments that are three exact same size like you see here and then turn them into a triangle. That's an equilateral triangle. An isosceles triangle is a triangle with two equal sides. So two of them are the same size, and then one of them is a different size. And a scalene triangle is a triangle with three unequal sides. That means all three sides are different sizes. Not any two of them are the same length. Let's classify these triangles according to the lengths of their sides. In the first triangle, we have a short side over here, then this side is a little bit longer, and this side is even longer. So they're all different. So that means this would be a scalene triangle. The second triangle, all three sides look like they're exactly the same length. So if they're all equal, then they're equilateral. Third triangle, this side and this side look equal, but that third side looks much shorter. So since there are two equal sides, this one must be isosceles. Now you are a triangle genius. Good luck.